Hey, buddy, it's Victor. It's time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends are going off to a fantastic start. We're waiting for the next video to cross 3,000 likes and a little bit of a lull because, uh, you know, it's a weekend and we also haven't had really any too crazy runs this week. I'm hoping that changes today, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. And of course, thank you everyone who's been participating in the episode questions of the episode uh, every single day. I appreciate it. Again, it helps out so much. Keep it going and uh, let's see what we have to discuss today. But first, of course, here's your meme of the day slash amazing artwork slash Pokemon of the day submitted here by Civil Inflation 8054. Battle Thread was upscaled version with such a... Now, this is an upscaled version of one that they posted also, I think, of the same day, but it was just simply the... Uh this Invicta Pokemon, which was it's it's one of the it's one of the Tepig. I forget the name of it uh, of the of the Ultra Evolution version of that Pokemon, but uh, it was super small. And then they added Sissy and then upscaled it, so it was really really well done. And I do love this. So thank you very much, Civil Inflation, and everyone who upvoted that one. Lots of upvotes on that. Check it out on this Invicta subreddit. Let's hop on in and see what we got rocking and rolling today. So sorry. Okay, CJ is going to be nine whiskey Yankee Charlie. Uh, Bravo Alpha, Foxtrot 4. We've got Synth Oil, which is great. We have the Jar, which is not so great, and neither is uh, Mom's Eye. We're also only starting with 1 HP, but our tiers are very good. For starting out, 2.93 is acceptable. 4.25, of course, is excellent, and uh, movement speed's right on the money. So, yeah, you know, it, it's it's not a bad start here. we got to be careful of our HP, of course. I know there's some people out there like, oh, this Victor complains whenever it's 0.99 movement speed, but 1.0 movement speed, is, it's fine. I mean, there is, like, you know, a slight difference in the movement speed, but it's not noticeable by human eyes, I guess. But, you know, you don't want to be too slow. And 1.0 1 is fine. Um, with the jar, we can actually pick up hearts and hold on to them. The jar makes a very easy reroll target for M, which... Honestly, it's been showing up a lot more lately, too. So we saw it. We saw M, what, like twice this week or something like that? So, yeah, you know, it's it, it's it's pretty good. If we can find M, it, it's an easy way to, to just get a more powerful run. And honestly, like, that's what I'm that's what I'm all for. I'm sorry. I had to plug in my phone real quick because it was dying. And having a having a problem with my cell phone dying lately. I, I don't know. Like last night, I, I swear, like the, last night was the weirdest was the weirdest freaking night and I say night, but really morning when I went to bed. Um, it, it, like this entire day today was was a total wash because what what happened? Careful. Because what happened? Um, I, I I was like I was I went to bed at my normal time, like super ultra gamer, like degenerate hours, at like you know eight p eight a.m. And I was like, yeah, you know, like I'm I'm finally feeling tired. I've been having I I've, I've been having issues. Issues with a new medication, um, and it's been kind of wreaking havoc on my body, and uh, I uh, have not been sleeping very well because of it, and I was finally tired enough to the point where I was like, oh, hey, like, I'm finally going to sleep well tonight. I can feel it. And, of course, as soon as I, as soon as I start thinking positive thoughts about sleeping, uh, <laughs> I, I end up waking up three hours after my phone died. I have a sleeping phone that I use because I, I use a white noise app. And that phone somehow mysteriously died. Either I didn't pay attention to the to the the charge meter on it before I actually like went to bed, or sometimes when I'm asleep I accidentally hit the camera on it and it just runs the camera like the entire time. And I think that's what happened because I felt like the spot on the bed when I woke up because obviously there was no more white noise, and it was really really hot, which means that the battery was running a lot harder than it should have been. So I'm guessing that somehow I accidentally goofed it and um, and hit the camera. So anyway, anyway, the uh, the phone died uh, after only three hours of sleep, and then I had to get up and do other things as well. So I'm like, Ugh, this is this is gonna be a long day. And then I decided to take a nap, and then I was like up and down all night and all day. And uh, I eventually got up at uh, ooh, it was like 9 p.m. and I'm like, yep, there goes that day. Which really sucked because I had a lot to do today, um, but it, you know it is what it is. I one thing. Oh, thank you, Curse the Maze. I, you, you confused the absolute hell out of me for a second because uh, we like tell it. We like shot across the map. I am gonna ding our donation machine here because we do need the soul heart. Um, we could also buy this. 
arrow card. I'm going to wait on that. Maybe if we get a scent, I'll buy that sack. That's all the moves coming. So anyway, so to, it was like, it, like you never, you ever get one of those days where you, you need to take a nap and then like you just, you sleep good and then like you're up after like 30 minutes and then you like, you fall back asleep. It was like that for me constantly over the next six hours. And I was like, man, I'm tired, man, I need to get up, man, I'm tired, man, I need to get up. And uh, eventually I finally got up and I actually like right now don't feel too bad. It's just the only, the only thing that just, just sucks is that it's just the entire day is wasted, you know? Um... But I did eventually get sleep. It's just that I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know when I'm actually going to go to bed again. Because, like, now it's like, what? It's like 11... It's like 11.40 right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save the Mega Bean Charge. Because technically we could get into here. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Spin Dizzle. Coming back around Tizzle. Okay. Um... We need to get that bomb out of the store. I'm glad I didn't buy that tarot card now. And never mind, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, Monster Manuel, which I'm just going to go ahead and use right now. My brother Bobby and the Anarchist Cookbook. Okay, all right. Spin down, spin down back for round two here of this week. I'm going to take Spin Dizzle. Spin Down Die, of course, is going to... Ooh. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna pass. I'm not gonna pass up a steam sale. Um, spin down die is going to lower the item number uh, by one, and you see right there. This is one of those things where you absolutely need to have external information mod just just so you can have all of the uh, all the information you need to to see what uh, spin down die ends up turning things into. Get a double soul heart payout there too. Now every penny that we get is going to be able to give us a charge on spin dizzle. And we should try to get a full charge before we go into the devil deal. Although I am I am tempted to not go devil deals here just because we don't have enough HP really to get more than one devil deal. And uh, it might be better for us, especially with spin down die, to go for angel deals. Plus, we haven't really had an angel deal run in a while. So um, let's try to get a full charge here from the charge beggar. Hopefully he hooks us up. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's aggravating, but that's fine. Um, we can get Horror Babylon and Toxic Shock out of the library, which is good. That's a two for that's a two for one special there, and one of them is very, very good. The other one is kind of, you no, know, the other one's Horror Babylon. Um, take our obligatory hit against Baby Plum here, and I'm going to reject Stanley. Brother Bobby actually putting out some DPS here, and I'm kind of here for it. There we go. Big time plays. We get Marrow. Marrow. Yeah. Uh, let's go check the shop real quick just because I don't remember what was in there to spin down. Um, we, can go down here. We, can get, we can get through here. We also put down the jar. I don't remember what the jar turns into. Ventral Razor turns into Tech X, though. Man. Ooh, this is rough. Jar turns into Red Candle. We only get one choice here. Horror Babylon doesn't activate for us right now. Toxic Shock is just so good in the start. Is so so dang good. But to pass up Tech X though, we've had we've had Tech X for a while now. Let's let, let's let's play let, let's play a little loose here today. We we've had we've had Tech X pretty often recently, so I'm I'm gonna pass on Tech X. Let's go for something a little bit a little bit juicier, especially with us going for Angel deals. We don't know what our tier effects gonna look like. Uh, we could go play the sacrifice room, but I'm going to prioritize boss rush here.
Now, heading on over to last week's question of the episode, this time with the correct episode, uh, <laughs> episode, episode. Uh, I asked, it was the TM Trainer episode, and I asked, what is the craziest TM Trainer effect you've ever seen up to this point or so far? And, the, and there were so many upvotes on this one. Lots of people really having a lot of fun sharing their craziest TM Trainer effects that they've seen. Uh, the most upvoted, just by one upvote at the time of this recording, was from Fiendol or Fiend, Fidoy, Fidoy Barra. Barra. Uh, give me a second here because the mob is going insane. Uh, they said, every hit I spawned three beds and it soft locked me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to say, I've never seen the, the bed soft locked before, but I can imagine that happening with Tech X, with, no, not Tech X, but uh, TM Trainer. So uh, the second most upvoted comment, which was only one behind, uh, was from, I'm going to say, Nama Jeff 4199 who said, got hit, spawned the end game chest, and it, and I got pushed into it. Run ended without doing anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, I have seen, I, I haven't, my, me, myself, wow, we got another nickel. Uh, me, myself, I have never seen the, the end game chest, but I have seen it happen before, and it happened to Corey, uh, also known as Flak Blag. It happened to him er in the early, early, early days of repentance. He actually got one of the hardest achievements done uh, because TM Trainer had spawned a end game chest, which was, again, hilarious. Uh, Ghost Baby. I mean, this isn't really worth using. I mean, I guess for, for the Seraphim, for the Seraphim transformation, I guess we'll take Celtic Cross. That's kind of a reach, though. Although we are going for Angel Deal, so maybe it's not that much of a reach. Um, but yeah, I have seen that happen before. Just It's never happened to me. Um, but that is quite hilarious. What a way to end a run. World's fastest Isaac run. And I mean, technically it would count because like it is like... It, it is true. Like That would be like the fastest Isaac run possible is if you get TM Trainer, it spawns the endgame chest, and then that's it. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, it was Soul High Sue 9639 who said, Eraser shots. I mean, erase everything, question mark? For some reason, TM Trainer, I don't know why, it, it likes to give you, like, eraser uses. Like, we've all seen it where, like, you get TM Trainer, it will, like, just randomly shoot out, like, just, just random erasers and stuff. And I don't know why it is like that, but, you know, when it happens, uh, when it works out, it's great. The thing that... The one TM Trainer effect that really I don't like, other than the ones that like just automatically kill you, of course, uh, is the one where it automatically uses your spacebar item. Like every single time that you fire. And uh, that one's annoying because like some of the TM Trainer spacebar items can be really, really powerful. And the fact that it gets wasted like that is a little bit of a bummer. But, you know, what can you do? It's TM Trainer. It's whole, the whole item is, is one big risk. Whoa, Lust, you need to calm down, ma'am. Getting a little too friendly there. Trying to hit her with the bomb, but also, like, just to give us a little bit of separation. Good lord. Take it easy, girl. Okay, we got another... We have another uh, charge on Spin Dizzle. Look at that. Toxic Shock. And I hope we get some damage, because Toxic Shock just speeds things up so, so much. You have to be careful, though, in rooms like this, where there are bomb flies and stuff... Um, them detonating right next to the right next to the door that you entered in is pretty pretty dangerous. Now yeah, we can go ahead and take a rotten heart. Okay. Uh, yeah. Glass cannon or um. There, there's no reason for us to get rid of get rid of spin down die for plant C into the uh, broken glass cannon, which turns into glass cannon, of course. Spin down spin down is just way 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 too valuable, especially on an angel deal run. gonna be rag mega so again thank you everyone who participated in last week's question of the episode and every single day uh, like i said the beginning of this video it helps out so much i'm glad that a lot of people have been enjoying the discussions i've been enjoying watching everyone's sort of opinions and debates and just uh, just overall like responses it's been a lot of fun it's, a, it's like the comment section which is used generally in the mosh pits generally a good place to be anyway um as long as you're like, you know, okay with seeing spoilers for the episode. Which, by the way, I should mention, don't ever go into the comment section 
until after you've watched the episode. Um, that goes for people looking for the question of the episode as well, because obviously you want to avoid a situation where you don't get spoiled. The virtues, which turns into rocket in a jar or immaculate conception, which turns into cambium conception. Cambium conception is way better than immaculate conception. Book of virtues does give us bookworm though. Mm. But I kind of like Cambian Conception. I'm going to go for Cambian Conception here. I'm not going to bomb the Angel Deal statues, however. It's a tough choice because, yes, Book of Virtues does give us the Wisps and, you know, and also, of course, Bookworm, but. At the same time, like, I would much rather have a chance to give myself, like, Incubus, Twisted Pear, D-Bizzle. Like, what we're doing right now is we're contributing to, uh, Cami Conception. I was really hoping that Celtic Cross would proc once, but... Celtic Cross is one of those items that, like, it used to be super reliable, and then it kind of dwindled a little bit in terms of re reliability. Uh, Celtic Cross will spawn a damage shield every now and then, periodically, if you get hit. We could get Angelic Prism, which I do like. There we go. Now, this doesn't count towards damage, because technically we're not taking any damage, but we are gaining a lot of money, though. And if you're wondering why it's taking so long for us to get hit a second time in consecutive order is because of Blind Rage, uh, which is the trinket that we've currently got. And we should try to get a couple of charges here on the spin down, Dizzle. This is really inconsequential for us because we have so much HP here that we can get this money back. And it really pays off for us to have multiple charges on spin down die. Unfortunately, we don't have the battery, so we can't actually pick that mini charge up. This is the only way that we can get a double charge currently. Remember, we don't need as much money as stuff as we normally would for the shop because we have the steam sale. So this is a win-win for us here. Angelic Prism, uh, which I think it doesn't it doesn't contribute to the to the Seraphim effect, uh, but I will take it anyway. And it didn't. All right. So it's clear now that we're not going to make boss rush, which it was kind of a long shot anyway. Um, I know there's a penny there, but we'll, 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 we'll get we'll get to it if we get to it. <laughs> I had some there's someone in the comment section. Uh, this is a few weeks ago now, maybe longer than that, who said my girlfriend gets mad at Sinvicta so much whenever he just leaves stuff in the room that could help him. Like leaving a penny or something like that in, in a room on floor four. Wow, that was an amazing shot by that pooter. Okay, well, let's... I mean, and she's not wrong. Like, I shouldn't leave stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm like, well, you know, if that if that one penny is the linchpin for us winning or losing a run, then I'll take I'll take full responsibility. But sometimes I just can't I just can't be bothered. Also, what in the hell is this map? Just looking for the shop here, game. This is a really strange... Oh, we don't have a key. So, excuse, excuse me. I, I apologize. I shouldn't have been so... Shouldn't have been so... So presumptuous. Why would we have a key at this t stage of the game? We're really looking for some damage upgrades now. And we get Black Candida... Uh, which we we could re-roll into a damage upgrade, but I'm not gonna... Of diamonds. Black candle is gonna be great because we have, don't have to worry about curses anymore. Should buy this half price sack too. Okay. Black candle is gonna get rid of curses, which is great. Don't have to worry about that. And now we get the most likely inevitable devil deal here, just because we were trying to go for angel deals. You know, you know how the game be. That's just how the game be. Now, if I really, really, really wanted to min-max here, I would have gotten a double charge on spin down die before coming into the boss fight. Um, just because that would have given us, you know, more options to re-roll with. 
So we get a another HP upgrade, which we might as well take. And uh, get the need to go deeper, and then some Victor robes. Now this is interesting because if we roll, if we spin down some Victor robes, we could potentially get nine lives out of here, and we know we would have guaranteed access to the Devil Deal. The problem is getting the rest of the charges that we need. We really, 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 really need a damage upgrade. I guess at the very worst, we would end with Lord of the Pit, because we know we're going to get at least one full charge. I'm going to go for it. This is highly contingent on the amount of money that we can get. So the okay, so the if you're wondering how come I, I I if you're wondering how come I didn't take Invicta robes and why would I take Goathead over that? Because Goathead guarantees us that we're able to get back into the Devil Deal, right? And we need to get back in there if we wish to get any sort of any chance to get nine lives. Nine lives is the goal here, for hopefully obvious reasons. It gives us one guppy item and also gives us run stability, um, but also. Also, it gives us the chance to get a really easy, easy shot to Guppy with a spin down die. Especially now that we have Devil Deal Preston, and we also also now have Goat Head, which gives us the uh, the guaranteed uh, Devil Deal. You don't understand. We don't need that. We don't need batteries here. There you go. That's what we need. And okay, we're gonna have to get more money. We are gonna have to get rid of our Rotten Heart, which is fine. Activate Tour Babylon. Okay, now we got to go do a little bit of a little bit, a little bit of picking up here, because the goal is not to use any of our. We don't want to use any of our soul hearts if at all possible. Even though I'm I'm willing to, we don't want to. bomb this judgment for maybe a little bit of extra money okay we got a bomb back as well so it's good um there's that chest over there that's held by the lock i think the secret room is there i think it's there but we only have one bomb this is a guaranteed chest i don't remember if there's a fool's gold rock either i feel like there was yeah, we just got a double bomb there, so we can we can at least check for that secret room. The secret room can't be there because we've seen this room here. Yeah. Well, no, actually, it could be there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, baby. Okay. That should be easily enough for us to get nine lives. All this is is in order for us to get nine lives here. So very long-winded play here for us to get nine lives, but obviously it's going to be worth it. Oh yeah, there's there's full gold. It's right there, literally inside of the arcade. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Charge Beggar. We had all these fires here that we could break as well. Okay, there we go. We're going to spin down the nail once, twice, three times a later. We'll finally head on down. All right, so we gave up a very good damage upgrade for the chance to have a future better run. Now, whether or not that was worth it or not remains to be seen. See here, we did get Demon Baby from Cambium Conception after taking all the hits on the IV bat or on the uh, Temperance Machine. Cambium Conception does pay out in a certain order. It's always Demon Baby and then 
uh, D Bizzle and then Incubus and then eventually Twisted Pair. I think Twisted Pair is before or is after um, after uh, Incubus. How did we not get grabbed there? I mean, I wasn't trying to get grabbed, but I'm very confused. This is this is no longer we we are we are now in in we need to get stats mode so no longer a luxury cruise here we're we're looking for we're looking for something a little bit more secure we're going from a luxury yacht to like a you know a, a speedboat with machine guns type thing cute real cute game I guess it's encouraging that we have the DPS to out to out DPS a uh, a Healy Healy minion. Uh, golden horseshoe. Uh, actually, golden horse the golden horseshoe only it almost never pays out. Almost never. And we get forget me now, which could not be a worse item for us to run into right now because it doesn't turn into anything that we need and we can't use it for anything. So. Iggy Bank turns, ooh. Cricket's body. Cricket's body is a massive tears up. I think we gotta go for that. Pyromaniac brother as well. Seven cents for Black Lotus is so tempting though. So tempting, but I am going to go for Cricket's body just cause we need, we like we're that desperate for, for damage right now. Even though Cricket's body is technically not damaged, it does increase our overall DPS, which allows us to deal more damage. Uh, even though the, it's been a little bit rough going on the on the whole split shot controversies uh, lately. Um, you know, I'm not a... I, I'm always kind of back and forth when it comes to split shots. Like the Parasite. We talked about this uh, not that long ago on the question of the episode. Uh, where, you know, split shots, they tend to sometimes cause more harm than good. And sometimes can lead to some really bad and rough situations just based on them existing. Do not need another demon, baby. And there's, a, there's Incubus uh, and Guppy's head, too. This is our second Guppy item. So second guppy item is a go and then we are going to take incubus this is going to kill us or we could go for eight inch nails which is a pretty big pretty big damage upgrade too but um i'm going to take incubus here because we're about to get cricket's body which is also going to be i think better than what we would get with eight inch nails well that's not true it's it's a side grade, if anything, to 8-inch nails. 8-inch nails is technically a better item, in my opinion. Come on, game. You're not gonna. You're seriously not gonna give us a full charge. You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me go into the. Go into the mob trap room. Looking for the last guppy item in here, and we did not get it. But thanks to blind uh, rage, we did get out before that damage, before our iframes wore off. So. But yeah. Okay. We could actually game the system a little bit here if we wanted, if we don't mind dying a couple times, we could potentially get another full charge out of this by simply just dying on the second wave and then redoing the, uh, redoing this challenge room. But I'm not going to do that. Plus, we actually have no way of, of activating it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. The point is we are going to get Cricket's body. We have Incubus. Getting a nice, just getting a nice big tears up is going to be, is going to be really, really, really something. And because of steam sale, we still potentially have a way of getting more items off of this floor. 
Uh, it's unlikely, but it is still possible. We would need to find a quick item to, to roll plus a full charge, so. Sorry, Gimpy. You know we love you, but I need this I need this tears up. Uh yeah. Nothing nothing really doing there, and it's not really worth it for us to roll anymore because we can't buy anything anyway. Well, that's not true. We could. But if I see something like roll down into something else, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, yeah. Let's let's stop where we're ahead here. Check for a soul heart because even though, technically speaking, we don't need to worry about taking red heart damage because we obviously have uh, got goat head. We still don't want to die on the next floor. So, secret room should be here. And, yep. Okay. And, sure, we'll take another demon, baby. So, this doesn't... That doesn't... If you're wondering how come we didn't get conjoined, it's because the first demon baby that we got via Cambion Conception does not does not count towards the transformation. Blue cap turns into corn photo, which is technically a better tears up. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. <laughs> For some reason, I was expecting Toxic Shot to kill that bomb before we even got like that close, and I just kept walking because, you know, herp group. Herp group. Just walk right into it. Cardio Coin giving us a workout here. We got a decent amount there. Take it. There we go. Actually putting out some pretty good damage here with the double demon baby. And I'm not a big fan of demon baby, as everyone knows. Um, that was stupid. Now we can't get into the boss trap room. But most likely we're going to lose this soul heart anyway. But if we have to go in there, I mean, it's it's worth... It's honestly worth losing this soul heart just to get that tears up from uh, Torn Photo. So I don't mind walking to the curse room here. Also gives us a chance to see if we can get our last guppy item, which of course we didn't. But it would have been that would have worked out pretty well. Oh, baby. Now we're cooking. But actually, I don't even care about dying here just because, like, I don't know, I'm going to be lazy. Saves us the time from having to do that. We All we cared about in there was, was getting, getting the tears up from Torn Photo, so. Yeah, you know what? I'm down for it. We're getting a lot of money. A dime and a nickel plus some good amount of pennies there. Whoa, Chubb, settle down, ma'am. Aaron, the kids. Got the clown physics on lockdown there. <laughs> what, is, what is going on with these maps, dude? Like, what is this? What is this monstrosity of a map that I'm looking at? It's like the other, it's like, it's like they took that other map from floor three or whatever and then just like verticalized it, you know? Uh, we do not want car battery. Um, there's some potential with school bag. Shame that we didn't really get a lot out of Steam sale. Well, it's a shame that we didn't get it, didn't get more from the Steam sale, which is not Steam sale's fault, by the way. You might be wondering how did I know the secret room was right there? Well, it's this room here that kind of gives it away, uh, but also we haven't seen any other rooms that really stuck out except this one there. Uh, that that the secret could be latched onto this one it's, it was between that one the one that I just shot that one and then the one we actually went into this one being an elbow room here was a little bit more sense with that other tile that we dropped the bomb in you, it, it, it could have been either one but that one to me felt a little bit more natural 
And once again, we have gone to the absolute extreme to where the item room is actually at, which is far south end. I think we're going towards Argentina at this point. Maggie's bow turns into Judas's freaking shadow, which also turns into Eve's mascara, man. And no, man, we have no way unless there's a charge beggar in the arcade. There's no way for us to get. Um, there's no way for us to get Eve's mascara. I don't think. Because we have no way of activating the boss trap room again. Be lazy. So unless there's a charge beggar inside of the arcade, we pretty much are dead in the water there. There is a charge beggar. Okay, so we can get Eve's mascara here. As long as he doesn't pay out automatically, which surely he won't, right? 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 Oh, baby. Thank you, Charge Beggars. Honestly, MVP of this run, other than Spin Down Die so far, the Charge Beggars. Shout out to all my Charge Beggars out there. All the real ones. So it's hard passing up Juice's Shadow, but man, oh man. Getting Ease Mascara for the big time damage upgrade here. I just wanted to see what was in it. it is uh positively amazing and we can also get soul of the lost which would allow us to save one of our lives from taking a devil deal and we still have a way to get a double charge what was in the shop that we could get a double charge for let's try saggy and Trisagian. Lack of a G also wouldn't be too bad, but we wouldn't be able to get there unless we took unless we took car battery. We would have to spin down once, take car battery, and then get another full charge to get lack of a G. Oh, that was a triple charge. But we don't even know what we're going to get in the devil deal here, so it may not even be worth it. Obviously, we want to get Guppy. Another triple charge. Good enough. All right. So, really, really, really long-winded run here. <laughs> Everyone's like, just get to it! Like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take the blanket, and then we'll save what will hopefully be a Guppy item in here. Alright, Sagian plus piercing shots wouldn't be wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here with this Ease Mascara play. But Lacvagy really would be pretty nice. I'm gonna take uh, the negative for damage. Oh baby. Oh man, love a coal too. Yeah, so we take take Guppy's paw. We get Gupster. We use the Soul of the Lost. Uh. We take Twisted Pear. Then we re-roll to get to get uh, Lump of Coal. Now we're cooking. That's the definition of hold up, let him cook. And we cooked. We're prospering now. Oh my god. I'm gonna take baby bender here just because I don't think blind blind rage is doing anything for us anymore. Blind rage actually did help us quite a bit though, I will say. A baby bender plus all these all these minion projectiles is gonna be real nice.
We got the damage. We just need now. We just need movement speed, and we're we're golden. Movement speed, a little bit of uh, a little bit of HP here and there. I think we did a, a damn fine job of, of turning this run from. Not that it was difficult or anything, but it was. Uh, we I think what we did on this run was was pretty fun. What we 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 had to accomplish, you know, min maxing the maps, going back, looking at possible rerolls, you know, getting lucky with charge beggars, you know, doing a good job finding money, like all that stuff turned into what you see here, the end result, which is just a really, really, really powerful run here with Guppy. And certainly I do think that, you know, the questionable at the time, anyway, the, the most questionable play that we could have made was skipping the early damage upgrade with Sinvicta robes and going for opting for the, the goat head was obviously the biggest risk. But I think now that, you know, that has been answered to where that was the absolute right decision to do so, because now we are much more powerful than what Sin Robes could have ever given us. The so hindsight's always 2020. Of course, I'm using it. I am using hindsight in the positive sense, but it could very easily been taken to the negative sense as well. Good luck, Skolex. <laughs> There's our movement speed upgrade get Krampus who cares second lump of coal don't really need it and I don't think it I'm pretty sure it doesn't stack but we'll take it just to take it there's those more HP here we're we're rocking and rolling now obviously old hushy's not going to happen because it's already been way past 30 minutes But this one, this one was a fun one, though. I think if you get a chance to play this seed, definitely do so. Uh, let's go ahead and get down to at least four Babylon, so we can get a little bit of extra movement speed. Uh, we can get Mr. Mizzle. X Zero would actually be horrible for this. Uh, Voodoo Head turns into Neptunus, which I don't really want. I do want Uranus, though. Oh man, tech one. Oh, give it to me. Right in my veins, right there. Tech one. Uh, sorry, that's not Neptunus, that's Pluto. Uh, the, other, the next one's Neptunus. Which I don't actually want Pluto, because Pluto's been kind of a pain lately. Oh, mama. And do I love Tech One? Everyone knows my my affinity for Tech One, but it seriously is just one of my favorite items. It has so many great interactions in Repentance now, especially with you being able to curve the beams. And on top of all of that, it does amazing damage. Let's do this, this fun room again. It does amazing damage. It cancels out a lot of really negative tier effects that you can run into. And to be honest, I don't know if it interacts with uh, with Neptunus or not. I guess we'll find out. I do want Uranus, kind of, but... Nope, it just doesn't do anything. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Now, I don't... I am going to pass on, on taking um, Tech Zero because I think it would actually crash the game. Whenever you have... Whenever you have um, Tech Zero plus uh, Cricket's body, it's usually a bad idea. It's a real bad idea to cross the tech streams there, so I'm just not going to. Charge key might be useful. Though. Maw of the Vizoid, H to the Izzo. Um, we don't really need Maw of the Void, but I'll just take it just to take it. We'll take it to the take it. Uh, what was past tech? What was past tech zero? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. There we go. There's the there's the tears up I was expecting, and it's gone again.
Oh, there, Nelly. Hang on there, buddy. You know what? You can have that room. I don't care. Really, the only thing that can kill us now is stuff like that, where things just die as I'm walking by them. Um, we got to be careful of death rattles and troll bombs is the other one I was going to going to be saying, but obviously our damage is so insane that we don't have to really worry about running into a bunch of resistance. It's just a matter of our own. We just got to pay attention, basically. It does suck that we lost War Babylon because obviously we lose that movement speed. We're just, we're just walking in, just absolutely murking everything. We did get a little brimmy as well from uh, Cammy Conception. Cammy Conception ended up being one heck of a good pickup as well. Yeah, the visual, the visual doo doo of Cricket's body definitely contributing here. To the uh, difficulty, but. At the end of the day, we are going to get the dub here. Is I'm 99.9% .9 sure of it. That'd be terrible for good measure. Uh, I mean, this would give us bookworm. What else can we roll into here that's fun? Nothing. 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 And nothing. Special tears might be okay, but I'm just going to take the uh, satanic Bible. Gives us bookworm, gives us some extra HP to work with, and uh, yeah, I think that that I think that'd be that. So we say thank you to Spin Dizzle for making this run possible. Fun run, very fun run. Spin down die is you know it's it's kind of like um, in a way it's kind of like having teleport 2.0 in, in that you have to do a lot of min maxing a lot of backtracking just to maximize the charges and you know everything that you saw here but the end result in my opinion is still a lot of fun um you know kind of exploring the all the basically exploring like all the, the loot tables and stuff and then having them mix and match because obviously you don't know what things are gonna are gonna spin down into until you have external formation mod it's a lot of fun it, it's a new it's a it's definitely a different way to play the game, for sure. So if you enjoyed the spin down die episode, everyone, we got a, a spin down. It's a mega episode of spin down die. Make sure you click that like button, leave a comment down below. And that leads to today's question of the episode. What is your take on spin down die? Do you have specific items that you look for? Do you have any of them memorized to know exactly, hey, this is this is what I need to get rock bottom? Or, hey, I know that uh, if I see blood bag, that's an automatic brimstone. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, the top three most upvoted comments will get read on next week's episode. And, uh, yeah, spin down die is just, it's just super good. It's a really good idea for an item. I wish we had more items like it to where it makes you think about choices that you're going to make an Isaac. It makes you think about, like, should I take this item? If we can actually see what the next item is, would it be worth the gamble to try to get the other charges? And, you know, it forces you to play different. And that's what I that's what I truly appreciate about Spin Down Die. So thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great weekend. Hope you're all staying safe and cool and uh, just having a good time playing Isaac out there. And I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Sampudu, Dina, Flashback007, and Asher. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode or get your hands on one of those Invicta keychains, then head on over to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Invicta. 